Okay, so we have direction on Carter Way. We're done with that at this at this time. I called him in the break. Okay. He said he'd have a surprise. He just sat for me the first thing you want. Good deal. All right. Teach floss point. Teach one half back. started collecting in October uh, the, as part of our 25 percent uh, the county has received about two hundred and ninety thousand dollars of our 25 percent money uh, we have uh, we've been in communication with uh, with the DOT regarding our first two <coughs> projects which are uh, Hickory Grove Road bridge at Eccles County both of those bridges and Clydestone Simpson. We've already made the request to GDOT to allow the locals to do the levy, and uh, the, they, they have agreed to do that. And we will have a, uh, should have a final contract. I was hoping to have it by this agenda, uh, but, but we won't have it in time, so, or we did not get it in time, so hopefully by the last agenda of uh, February we will have the official contract that will authorize us to start proceeding with work on, uh, on those, I mean, at least one of those. On the Hickory Grove Bridge and Clyteville. Clytestone. Simpson. Uh, Simpson. 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 Right. And the, cons the unconstrained and the constrained recommendation list are behind the T-SPLOS tab in your book. They're attached to that green sheet that's behind the policy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and then as far as the unconstrained, uh, like I said, we've got about $290,000 that's in here now. Uh, we are, uh, we have, we have 100% construction plans completed uh, and ready to go to work uh, on Boring Pond Lane. Uh, that's out off of uh, Sackville Highway. Uh, and so, I mean, you know, even the best case, you know, it's you know 60, 90 days before we ever they ever break ground. Before we ever get a bill, so you will have you will have should have your six hundred thousand in the bank before you ever start construction. That was the estimated amount. That's right. For, that's right. Um, so this is less. It's less, less than a mile. From okay. Right. So, uh, so we're that's that's kind of where we're uh, where we're looking to go first. We've already got all the right of way in hand. We've got engineering plans completed. Uh, and, and it's ready to go. Okay. So that's that's where that's where we're looking at going first uh, for that. Is that country states? Uh, the country states east and west is down off of Clyde Lincoln Road, off the Road. Uh, all the way almost at Brooks County. That's the, uh, the Deerwoods the Deerwoods subdivision is at Deerfield, which is Deerfield. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. it. And that's. Uh, that is actually what we have, you know, probably deemed as the number two project. That's where we would go second. Is that area? But, time. Yes, sir. We're not going to be able to do like we've done on some projects and get ahead of ourselves on the money collection. See, this is one pot of money. That's spot, right. Two spots. That's right. I just with with spots, we could let you kind of get out there. That's right. Get ahead. Because we had other money in there. That's why, that's why I said. That's why I said. That's okay. why I said that six hundred thousand would be in the bank before yeah, we before we I, ever break ground. So that is going to slow down some of these. That's right. It, we're not going to do them until yeah. we have to, right. until we oh, yeah. sufficient money in the bank. But we we kind of would borrow from other projects with swaps. Okay. Which, which is fine. Yeah. We just want to make sure that in the end. Oh, I, I, I agree yeah. that with with the with the. Unconstrained mm -hmm. money, we need to bank it before we let the project. I, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I didn't understand. want the board to misunderstand yeah. that. And because this is mm -hmm. on the count, we can't get ahead of the ones that's right. Bank account. That's right. Just, it's that's just T spots money. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead, that's right. But, uh, but with, you know, with, with your, you know, with the board's permission, that's what we would like to go first, to, is to, to get that one okay. done and taken care of. And then, it's, like I say, as soon as we get the uh, uh, the contracts, we will be 
begin, you know, doing the engineering stuff on the bridges and Simpson and Glass on. Okay. Right, uh, I know you had them on your list earlier, but I want to come back to that 25% on the unconstrained. Yes, sir. Um, we will do the same thing there before we let a project. That money will be in the bank. That would be collected before we let a project on those as well. Well, see, the, cons the constraint is controlled by DOT. Mm -hmm. they that's, that's, that's the constraint, yeah. not the unconstrained. The unconstrained is coming to the county. That's the money you right. have to have in the bank. Gotcha. Because right. that's the only money in there is for road projects. Right. Because, the, no what, what, because on the constrained list, what you'll have is the, it's basically like a CDBG. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll have the, you get the money, you, you, the county will pay the bill, mm -hmm. and then they will, they will deposit the check back, they will reimburse your account. That's the constraint. That's the constraint. Correct. So. All right. Okay. Got that clear. Um, let me, I, I have a question, because the role that I'm mm -hmm. playing in to you right now is, most of Lowndes County, the majority of Lowndes County and the city of Valdosta's roads are in the third tier. That's correct. Okay. Do you have any particular road that you might would say that we really have uh, a more of an immediate need that if we, if I can work to see if I can bring a project into the second or first or second tier? It's a, I mean, it's a political, political thing, but uh, uh, Hightower and Cooper, the base is ready to go with Hightower and Cooper. They, they're finishing up their environmental assessment, and they're basically going to be waiting on us. If there, if there was one that, to move forward quicker, quicker, because that's, that's tip, that would be seven years from now. That's right. And uh, the fact that they would have, have to wait another seven years to relocate Hightower and Cooper, that, that would be my recommendation if you want to move on. And Mr. for mind you, Hightower and Cooper, it, Cooper is uh, the <coughs> county solution to the concern with Hightower, which is on the north end of the runway at Moody Air Force Base. That's one of the safety concern, concerns that Moody has had uh, because the fence line runs right alongside Hightower. Um, so this is a portion of Hightower. Uh, what we have thought we could do in the in, in the past is that they would like to close that section of high tower, but we've always said we can't close that road until we're able to improve and have a better way for the folks back on Cooper and the remaining part of high tower to have better access out. And so what you're saying is, is that if we can move that project into the first tier, then that will address that, but also would address a need that Moody Air Force Base has as well. Mike, how many miles, when, if this or High Calvin Coop is closed and the new road, how many miles different will that be from where they are using it? Um, the way that we, the way that we got it run through T-Sploss, there really is not going to be uh, any difference because what we're, what we're going to do is to come, when you come across the railroad tracks at mm -hmm. High Tower, mm -hmm. I believe it's called Yates Road, yeah, right. mm -hmm. that turns, uh, Come back over this way. Yeah. Uh, Yates Lane runs parallel to the railroad tracks. Sharp left. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're going to take that left of Yates Lane, improve that, and then uh, up north is called Runway Lane. So we will pave Runway Lane over to uh, Barrett's Road and then pave Barrett's Road down. So really, instead of having here, you're going to go like that. You're just going to, that fence line is just going to give them about a Thousand foot or so, thousand you know, uh, foot bu buffer. Yeah. So it, the, the road's gonna, the road will still be, the, you will still be able to come in off of Bemis mm -hmm. and get over to those properties, yeah. but yeah. you're just gonna come in, go up, uh -huh. down, and back around. It's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a little jog in the road. If, if you're familiar with it out there, their, their area of right concern there. is where they park the C 130s. I know where, the, I know what it's all uh -huh. about, but I have been, you know, several. See, that is just such a distance out of the way. So no, see, it, but if, if this is, I, that's, I, basically, that's basically what they will do. They'll okay. just do that. Okay. So, that, so there's, there's, the, 
a man out of the way is going to be negligible. So Hightower gets closed all together from, from Yates down to Barrett. That's right. That gets closed and uh, the Air Force owns both sides of the road, so the Air Force will get deeded both sides of the road. But that's that's the proposed solution. That's the proposed solution. Because they, uh, in talking with GDOT folks and things like that, it, it, you know, they, they didn't want to put a project in there that we could not uh, fulfill. And I didn't know that we could fulfill the determination that Walter makes us make that a road has ceased to be used by the public with the amount of traffic that's on that road. So I just, so that's the, we're relocating the road. Okay. okay. Good plan. That's correct. Good plan. Okay. I'll address that then. Okay. Anything else on T's Plus? No, sir. Uh, 